Hello third graders. Today our mini lesson is going to be a review of making inferences as we read, okay? So we make inferences all the time when we read and in life. For example, if I walk into the classroom and I have a big smile on my face and I have a little pep in my step and I just look like my face is lit up and happy, what could you infer about my attitude? You could probably infer that I'm in a good mood, maybe I just got some good news, something exciting is happening, or I'm excited to share something with you. That'd be an inference because you are understanding how I feel without me even telling you, okay? What about if I walk in the classroom and I'm like, oh, feeling bummed out. I, my face is looking like I'm not too happy. I kind of have a frown on. I Maybe my shoulders are shrug, shrugged over. What would you infer about my attitude then? You'd probably infer that I was in a bad mood, I got some bad news, something like sad that happened or that bummed me out. You'd, probably, you'd be able to tell without me even using my voice to explain to you what my mood is based on your inferences, okay? So those are just some examples, but you make inferences all the time, whether you know it or not. So we're gonna focus on doing that as we read today, okay? So. When we make an inference, we are using information from the text and our prior knowledge to figure out something about the text that the author didn't tell you, okay? So we take information or clues from the text, what we read, and our prior knowledge is what we already know. For example, you know if somebody's smiling, they're happy. You know if someone's frowning, they're probably sad, right? That's knowledge you already know in your brain. That's prior knowledge. When you add those two things together, that is how you make an inference, okay? So some sentence starters when you are making inferences are maybe, I infer, perhaps, or I think. So maybe Mrs. Kaczynski is having a really good day today because she came in the classroom and she was bright and bubbly and happy, okay? Or I infer that Mrs. Kaczynski just got some bad news because she walked in the classroom with her head held, um, hanging down low and her shoulders shrugged. Okay, so these are sentence starters that you can use when you are making inferences. Um, today I'm gonna read a book to you called The Keepers and I'm gonna ask you lots of questions that you need to make inferences with. You need to take what I read, the clues from the text, and your prior knowledge, which is what you already know, to make an inference to be able to answer the questions I'm gonna ask you, okay? So as you're doing that, I want you to use these sentence starters. You can either have your journal next to you as I read the book, and you can pause when I ask you a question and write your answer down. Or if you're watching the uh, video with somebody, you can just turn and talk, turn, pause the video, turn and talk, and then see what I have to say. Or you can just shout out your answer at the screen, okay? If I ask you a question, just talk to me as if I'm there like we do in class, okay? So I want you to think about this as I read. I want you to use these sentence starters as you make inferences um, when I read keepers to you in the next video, okay?